Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel. And uh, of course, we were talking about Windows 11, which now we know is Windows 11. And here are a few more screenshots. I have installed the leaked build. And here is uh, some of the screenshots I took of the install and of the desktop and settings app. I'll have a separate video where we're going to talk about what it is and and um, okay we'll we'll just comment there for now this is the first page of install looks like a standard windows 10 install and then you have choose the version so in my case i chose the uh, pro version and uh, here it says home but i went to choose pro version when i installed then you have this is choosing your country, what it looks like. This is very different from what you have in Windows 10. Uh, the personal use or for work in school. Here, uh, interesting, they let you actually install it as a local account. So they actually try to tell you to log in with your Microsoft account, but I didn't want to do this on this build. Um, I just chose the local account and then it gives you a limited experience that you click to actually have that. Then this is what it looks like while it installs and actually around here, the blue that you see here kind of moves around in the screen while it says this might take a few minutes. And this is the settings app, not much of a difference from uh, what you have in Windows 10 when you see this. You still have the control panel, I have actually checked. And uh, the taskbar, of course, the, uh, the start menu and everything is centered here at the bottom, as you see. This is my desktop. I actually took Winver to get the Windows 11 here. This is the File Explorer, it has the brand new File Explorer. So uh, yeah, this is what it is. And then the next video, we're going to talk a little more in detail and I'll give you my impression of what exactly this is. So um, hope that you enjoyed these. I um, tried to install on two PCs, older PCs. Both of them did not meet the minimum requirement. So I'm kind of wondering um, the minimum requirement for this because if it just doesn't let me continue, and one of them is my, uh, two, the, those two PCs actually run Windows 10 really well, but they don't want to, they don't want to install on Windows 11. So that might actually make some older PCs obsolete, um, from what I see. And uh, now I've installed it in a virtual machine in my main PC, so um, they'll be uh, I'll be able to play around with it more and give my impressions of what it is. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.